One of the most mysterious aspects of Star Wars The Force Awakens was, of course, what was introduced by J.J. Abrams, the Knights of Ren. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that Episode 9 has a lot to offer, not only by the prequel trilogy content that will be inserted into this movie, but also the fact that J.J. and Chris Terrio are combining all nine films into one movie. However, what about all of the big mysteries in The Force Awakens that were never answered? That's one thing to take note of here that could very well be a part of Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, what's really interesting and intriguing to me has all to do with the Knights of Ren, the six male actors in their 20s that are actually going to have a huge scene with with Adam Driver. Now, apparently the male actors in their 20s that total up to six actors with training in martial arts are all set to shoot a scene with Adam Driver for a three-day shoot on a set that will require numerous rain machines for the shoot. The set is described as having some boulders, extras that will be playing wounded and deceased characters, and will have an ancient structure in the background. The sequence is also said to be an action-heavy scene that will require driver to have a stunt double for some shots. Also, the six male actors in their 20s will be using weapons such as spears, axes, and shields. So this to me raises a ton of questions, all right? If you look at The Force Awakens, I feel like that this is going to be a scene directly from episode 7 inserted into episode 9. Now, first things first, all right? If you look at the Knights of Ren, excluding Kylo Ren, there are six of them. And the fact that there are six male actors in their 20s that will be working with weapons like axes and spears in Star Wars Episode 9 tells us that they could very well be the Knights of Ren. Of course, nothing is 100% confirmed as of yet, but it is looking more and more likely. The second thing that really does interest me is the fact that rain machines will be used for this scene, and some extras will be acting as dead bodies, deceased individuals on the set. Now, if you look at The Force Awakens, if you look very, very closely here, I want to examine this. If you look at that sequence, you do see that a lot of rain was used. You also note that there's a lot of dead bodies on the floor and a structure all the way in the background while the lightning strikes, illuminating this mysterious structure in the background that could very well have to do with a Jedi temple or maybe something around those lines for all we know. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the details for this sequence that is to be shot for Episode 9 lines directly up with what we saw in The Force Awakens. Could that moment in The Force Awakens actually be a flash forward of what was going to be shown in Star Wars Episode 9? Now, that to me seems like the more likely scenario, but if that is the case, this is where things get a little confusing. Why would Kylo Ren have the same exact helmet in Episode 9, the one that he had in The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi that he destroyed in the elevator on board of the Supremacy? Why would Kylo have pretty much the same exact helmet in Episode 9? Now, of course, that could just be a continuity error that J.J. Abrams would have to patch and would have to explain, like maybe Kylo Ren makes his own helmet or had a backup helmet that he ends up using with the Knights of Ren in Episode 9, they'll have to restructure the trilogy in a certain way that'll exclude the whole entire idea of Kylo Ren shedding layers by destroying his helmet. As far as the Knights of Ren go, I feel like that's another very interesting aspect of Star Wars that hasn't really been explored, neither in any Star Wars comics, novels, books, any form of canon really hasn't really gone all into the Knights of Ren. We really know little to nothing about them. And I think that's why they're so intriguing is because, well, we only got a short glimpse of them and a little reference of them by Snoke in The Force Awakens. Other than that, in The Last Jedi, they are totally disregarded. Nobody talks about them, not even Snoke, not even Kylo Ren, nobody. And of course, you know, it's we're led to assume that when Luke Skywalker said, to Rey that, you know, he took a handful of his students, 
that they are the ones who became the Knights of Ren. I honestly love that idea. I embrace that idea because not only would that mean that they are force sensitive individuals secretly, but it could also mean that they may very well have their own lightsabers. Now, I think that this also lines up with what we heard just about three months ago that these male actors would also be using lightsaber stunt props for one of the sequences that they will be shooting with Adam Driver. Now, my theory based on all of this is that maybe the Knights of Ren only use primitive weapons as a way to provoke their enemies to attack and then surprise them with lightsabers and take them down easily, flawlessly if you will. So I would love to hear your input about all of this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.